Yes, the pro was Garth Tander, the rookie, Nick Perkat. That was 2011 at Bathurst when those two drivers saluted. What a highlight for both of them. And three years on, Nick Perkat is about to start his second full season as a V8 supercar driver. That starts in Sydney this weekend at a test weekend. I'm delighted to say he's in here at Fox Sports News. Welcome back, Nick. Cool, thank you. It's an um, exciting year. Can't wait to get started. We're all very excited at Fox Sports. Tell us about this weekend. What does it involve? Why is it important? Um, basically, you know, it's our first official test day for the year. We don't get to um, go out and just drive the cars every day and get used to them. So, um, you know, there's a lot of procedures that the team need to learn, um, get in place, learn the car, make sure everything's been put back together correctly. And then for, for the drivers, it's, a t it's an opportunity to get your eye back in, get a feel for the car, um, probably um, make sure you're just comfortable in the seat and all that because the, you know, the brake pressure is quite high, so you can get a bit of a sore lower back if it's not all perfect so it's probably just a bit of a, a bit of a shakedown and then we we get a new set of tires at the end on sunday and we can all lay down a lap and um, leave there with bragging rights given last year what do you personally want to do this weekend what are you looking to achieve um well uh obviously i was quite quick at eastern creek last year so i think for me new team with lucas um i just want to you know make sure the team's gelling well make sure the car runs uh faultlessly and then make sure i'm comfortable in it because it's a lot different environment inside the car compared to my car last year so if I can leave there comfortable, um, the team's working well and we have a bit of pace, which I think that'll just naturally come with a triple eight car. I think we'll uh, head to Clipsal pretty happy. You start your first season with Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport, but your association is a long one, isn't it? It sort of makes sense that you're working together this year. Yeah, we've known each other since uh, about 2006. We raced each other in Aussie racing cars in Formula Ford and um, you know, I've been hanging out with him for about six years now, so it's, um, it's interesting how it's worked out. And to have Lucas as my boss is probably a little bit weird um, because I was always the, uh, I was actually working on his Formula Fords back in 2008. So it's, a, it's an interesting um, you know, relationship, but it's, it's a good one. We're honest with each other and um, we just tell it how it is, and um, I think it'll work quite well. As you've touched on this weekend, is crucial before round one of the season proper. That comes at the Clipsal 500. You're a South Australian boy, so to start in your home city, what's that like? Um, to race the Clipsal 500 for me is a dream come true because I, I went to um, my first Grand Prix was 1988 and I was born in September and I think the Grand Prix was like December so I was in the in the pram with dad and then to um, been to every single Clipsal 500 um, and obviously didn't race at all of them and to be on the grid the first time last year was the main driver um, yeah it was a dream come true and every time you go back there you get all the fans uh, all your friends family um, mingling around the back of the pits it's uh, it's really cool and uh, um, I think Dad gets a massive kick out of it because he's been a crazy motorsport fan his whole life and to see his son out there um, having a go is uh, it's awesome. I can imagine. Now last season uh, you were the highest placed rookie in 12th, the highlights second at Eastern Creek, third at Bathurst, so what did you make of 2014, your first full season? Um, you know, to be honest I thought the back half of the year was really strong. We, um, we scored quite well, we were in the top 10 a lot of the time but uh, started off a little bit slow. I think. Uh, the pace was there, but I was a bit impatient, so had a little, few little run-ins, and it cost me a few points. So um, to get back to 12th by the end of the year was um, a yeah, pretty, pretty good run for us. So for 2015, it's um, try and start the year a little bit stronger, and then um, finish the year inside that top 10. And um, I think for you know the size of Lucas's team at the moment, if we can punch in the top 10 week in week out, it'll be a pretty, pretty serious result. As we saw in the play on, you won Bathurst in 2011. You didn't crack the V8 supercars permanently until 2014. Was that a frustrating wait, or did your time in the Dunlop Series and Carrera Cup in the Porsches serve you well? Um, you know, 2012 wasn't so frustrating because I was racing against um, McLaughlin, Chaz, Scotty Pye. Um, we're all in the Dunlop Series together. Then the following year, they all, they all moved up, and I was actually left with a, without a drive. And the week before the Clipsal 500, I managed to get a Porsche drive. And, uh, go on to have a really successful year in that and that helped you know springboard me back into the main series and kind of probably remind people that I was around because I got into a little bit of a no man's land so um, yeah but now you're in the main series you don't want to leave and that's why this year I took the opportunity to drive for Lucas with both hands and um, definitely wasn't uh, letting that one get away. What sort of goals do you set yourself for 2015? Um, yeah I want to want to try and get a few podiums again um, 
especially to try and you know, repay the faith in Lucas and Holden. They're the ones that made this all happen, very last minute, obviously. And um, yeah, if we can get a few podiums again and, like I said, run inside the top 10 week in, week out, I'd be really happy with the way the year's gone. And I think the whole, the whole team um, would, you know, they would, uh, they would love to be up that end of the grid. So I think they're, they're capable of it. It's um, been there all week and, you know, it's a very small team, but they've got a massive heart and the amount of work they've done this, this week alone has been seriously impressive. So um, I just want to repay the, the hard work they've done. As I said, 12th last season, top 10 would seem realistic uh, in 2015. Now, Jamie Wincup is the man who carries number one. How is the rest of the field going to catch Jamie Wincup in 2015? Um, oh, it's going to be tough again. Obviously, he's got the same car, same crew again, like he's had for the last six, seven years. So um, that's why he is so strong every single weekend because he, when he needs to find that extra extra gear, he can, um, he can grab it because he knows the environment so well. And, Obviously, Triple Eight built him a very good car, but um, you know I think there's going to be a few other guys knocking on the door. I think Shane Van Gisbergen, he's um, been quite strong, and he's everyone knows he he'll have a crack. And um, yeah, hopefully the, you know, the HRT boys give um, give Jamie a run. I know uh, JC's pretty keen too, and he he says it pretty uh, vocally. So um, yeah, I think it'll be a good year. I think last year the the grid really tightened up towards the end of the year, so it'll be it'll be on. Well, Nick, you said that when Jamie Wincup needs to find another gear, he can find it. Well, today he was found by a snake which grabbed him. This is a promotion gone wrong. Can you believe this? The reigning V8 supercar champion in a promotion at Taronga Zoo couldn't get the snake off and as a result was bitten. The blood flowed for a while. Have you ever had a PR stunt go horribly wrong like that? Not like that. <laughs> you know, it might just be too windy or something. That's, uh, that's extreme. Hopefully it slows him down a little bit. But... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. No, nah, snake's no good. He's braver than me. <laughs> How much did you other drivers have to pay to Rongazoo to come up with that snake? Because <laughs> yeah. <it> was a... <laughs> yeah, you know, a few people just on the down low. <laughs> it's, uh, no, I don't know how he's uh, going to handle that. Obviously, it'll be quite sore, I guess. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Well, Nick Perkat, good luck this season. We look forward to watching you on Fox Sports through 2015. And it all starts on Sunday. Fox Sports 5 is the place to be for supercar action live this weekend. The test event in Sydney. 9am Eastern Daylight Times. The teams unveil their new liveries. Most of them will do that. You'll see the new drivers as well and you can cheer for Nick Perkat. So, mate, good to chat. Cool, thank you. OK, stay with us on Fox Sports News. We've got more right after the break.